to the assassin's corner. I'm the Cerebral Assassin, and with me is the General. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right, so we're going to be looking at uh, another review of Black Panther from the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniature game. Uh, so let's go ahead and check him out. He is so good. He is a really, really awesome sculpt. A very awesome sculpt. It was easy to put together. Um, this was painted by myself. Uh, I think I did a decent job, you know. Not too bad, not too shabby. Looking good, Tribal Assassin. Looking good. Not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and get into his stats. So he's got six health. He's got a, a, a movement of large, which is huge. Huge. Yeah. So just like Baron Zemo and right, Spider-Man. Yeah. Long movement is a bit of a killer. So he's got a two height, and he's got a four cost. Put him on the table. Now for defense, for physical, he's got four dice. Uh, for energy... Energy, he's got three dice, and Mystic, he's got three dice. So Which is, pretty, yeah, very respectable. Yeah, pretty very, good. Very respectable. So, all right, so let's get in the first ability, Strike. Um, it's a two range, five dice, zero cost. It's just like, you know, pretty much every other strike. Uh, after this attack to resolve, the character gains power equal to the damage dealt. Before damage is dealt, the push the target uh, the target character away from this character small range. I like, again, I like that, especially when it comes to uh, issues where you're pushing them out of an objective range, so mm -hmm. they can't claim an objective. So again, that the extra little rule that does help quite a bit. Yes, it does. All right, so let's get into his kinetic burst. This is his uh, energy uh, attack. It's got two range, six attack dice, and three costs. Now what this does is when making this attack during the the pay cost step of the attack, this character may spend up to three additional uh, power, add one die to this attack for each power spent in the way. Oh, huge. Huge. Uh, All right. Game and, changer. And then he has uh, explosive, force. explosive force. So whenever you roll a whirlpool, this effect goes off. After this attack is resolved, other characters within two range of this character are pushed away from this character small small range. I love it. The fact that you can have a attack of nine uh, dice if you spend an extra three power is a huge game changer. If you get, I always say this: if you use the one two punch, yeah, that's eleven dice in your face. And what's awesome is when he pushes them away, they take a damage. Oh, it's not. Not the only push him away. Oh, he's, he's a bit of, yeah, he's a damage yeah. dealer. He's a bit of, and what <laughs> scares me about him is the fact that he moves long. A lot of yep. lot of characters like that either have a slow movement or a medium movement, but he's in your face, he's got six health, he's got a decent defense dice. You know, usually when you've got someone long, they're gonna you know that's sometimes they're a little bit more feeble, but he's he's just full of power. Yep. So let's go ahead and get into his uh, affiliation. King of Wakanda. Yep. So he is a Wakanda uh, king. Uh, so king of Wakanda. What this does is, after an allied character rolls attack, defense, or dodge dice, it may spend one power. If it does, that character may re-roll one of that dice. Huge, huge. We saw that. We saw that in action a yep. few days ago. And makes all of a difference. It makes does. a huge difference in the game. Um, it, just that ability to just, you know. Get an advantage to modify a dice by a reroll. Big deal. Yeah. So let's get into its two active abilities, which is Mantle of the Black Panther. When making an attack, this turn, this character may reroll any number of its attack dice for two costs. Oh my god. This is, right? this is where I get, this is where my heart starts to palpitate because, you know, if you can pull that off, that's three power, six yeah. power. If you've got eight power to spend, now that's a tall order, but it can happen. Um, then what you've got is you've got nine attacks. Rerolling to hit, um, yeah. and just that's complete devastation. You're you're guaranteed to rip someone apart with that. Yep. Yeah. So he has pounce, and I use this quite a bit. Hmm. Uh, this character is thrown small range. It does not suffer damage if it collides with another character or terrain feature. The superpower can only be used once this activation, and it costs two to make it work. Pounce is huge because he doesn't suffer damage, but his opponent suffers damage. So the opponent suffers up to three damage because he's a size of two. It's two plus, the way the way it works, you get one damage basic and plus whatever the size is. So he just pounces on you. You've got to, get, you've got to defend yourself with defense dice. Um, but if you fail, that's damage and he just rips into you. Yep. Uh, that's cool. I love that. I love that. And then for his passive ability, it's Vibranium Armor. 
when defending against uh, physical or uh, energy attacks, this character adds blanks in its defense role uh, to its total sc- yeah. uh, success. The Black Panther is what we in English say, what we call the dog's bollocks. And this is pretty much the reason why. He's got a really good defense right here. Yeah. He's got six health. He's yeah. got the vibranium armor as well. He can reroll his attack. He's an all round hitter. The only thing he's so it's to me when they, when I'm playing the good guys, kind of Puritan, I even play heroes villains. He's between uh, Captain America, who's solid, and Black Panther. Both of them are solid. Both uh, I would say Captain America is more defensive. He, he's a bit yeah. of a meat shield. He takes he's a bit of a tank. Yeah, this tank. guy is just all out damage. Hmm. And can dodge. I can dodge. <laughs> right. So let's go ahead and flip him over. So the only thing that has changed on this is the Vibranium Armor. So this now is a reaction. So it's an inactive ability. It uh, costs two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it becomes harder. To, so he, he loses his, his bit of his power. Yeah. So instead of it being three, it costs you two. Um, he's still got a six. So, he, so basically he's got 12 health, which is uh, big in the game as well. Yeah, I'm, I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, he's an amazing character. I'm afraid if I'm only right now I'm only playing villains, he scares me. Mm-hmm. He scares me quite a bit. And plus, if you're gonna run the Wakandans, you might as well run him because he gives the affiliation. Yes. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video going over Black Panther for the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniature game. Uh, make sure to hit that like button. Leave us some comments. Um, we'd like to know how your games have gone with the Wakandans. Oh yeah. And uh, we will see you in the next video.